What's up, guys? Check out this world record smallmouth bass. Well, this is a world record smallmouth bass caught by D.L. Hayes in 1955. It's a replica, it's not the actual fish, but by measurement, uh, it was 27 inches long, 20 something inches in girth, and it weighed 11 pounds, 15 ounces. So um, it's a replica that people come by and like to check out when they're here at Horse Creek. Um, it's held for 60 years now. Like I said, it was caught in 1955. And besides that, we have the top three record smallmouth bass that's ever been caught uh, that came out of Del Hollow Lake. And the second one, number two, was um, Mr. John Gorman, a 10 pound, 14 ouncer. And then number three was caught in 1986 by Mr. Paul Bill, and it was a 10 pound, eight ouncer. Well, uh, Mr. Hayes caught the fish trolling um, again over 60 years ago, and he caught it on the 600 series pearl white bomber. Uh, it wasn't this actual bait, but this is one like it that I picked up years ago. And basically, uh, it looks like a torpedo, but it runs backwards. The bait actually pulled through the water this direction, and um, you know he was trolling for anything that would bite, and just so happened he caught the the largest smallmouth ever. It's been a while, like I say, 1986 was the last 10 pounder we've seen, but uh, this is a special place. It's the only place you can come and catch, you know, on average a four and a half to five pound smallmouth and have to throw it back. It's a smallmouth lake, that's what it's known for. But it also has a, a good, it's a great overall fishery, great population of walleye, uh, crappie, bluegill, and largemouth. So um, people come here to, for a chance to catch the world record. Um, it hasn't been broken yet. And uh, like I say, we had the top three. So that's why they come here a lot. But we also have fishermen in the springtime that come to panfish, catfish. Um, it's just a beautiful lake with, and a great fishery overall. I want to reiterate how special this lake is as far as smallmouth bass goes. And I think you have to contribute that to the Tennessee Wildlife Resources Agency um, for instituting the slot limit about 18 years ago. Um, you know, before then we saw in the mid 90s, we saw a 19 inch fish be the largest you would see weighed in a lot of uh, 17s in a tournament. Now, guys are upset because they're catching 20 inch four, four and a half pound smallmouth and can't take them to the scales because we have a 21 inch size limit here. But it's not about tournament fishing. Uh, it's about recreational fishing. It's about all the people that come here and support the marinas and, and the local community to have a chance at catching a trophy smallmouth bass. And uh, that's what uh, those regulations have, have done for us and what makes this lake so special. Thank you for watching. Hit the subscribe button for a chance to win free fishing gear October 1st.